Reed Porter is our guest in this segment, and uh, Reed is with PHRMA in regards to a survey done with Americans and how they feel about out-of-pocket costs for prescription medicines. Reed, good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Uh, Reed, by the way, you're on with Rob. That would be me, Matt, and uh, Joe as well. Tell me about this survey, Reed, and the results from it. Thanks so much. Yeah, so we at Pharma uh, worked with Morning Consult to conduct a 50-state poll of uh, 20, over 20,000 Americans and really to look at and to get to the root of affordability challenges. Look, there's no secret here that you didn't have to do a poll to figure out that too many Americans are struggling to access and afford their health care. The fact is that we got to get down to really finding solutions for it that work for people that actually translate to dollars saved at the pharmacy counter. And so while policy debates about how to address these issues can seem never-ending and, and certainly feel that way right now, uh, this polling shows that adults largely agree on what state policymakers should be doing to help deliver relief to patients. Both Joe and I are baby boomers, Reed, so when we're, we're tail end of the baby boom, so we're not quite at that signed up for Medicare age yet, but we can see where the line forms from where we sit birthday-wise. Uh, and uh, we know the, the baby boom has been going through uh, these uh, out-of-pocket costs as seniors for several years now, and, and uh, we know their complaints. And I wonder, of the 20,000 adults who were surveyed, do we know the age breakdown? How many of them were seniors? How many of them were young people? Ooh, that is a great question. And unfortunately, I don't have one. Hmm, I don't have it immediately in front of me. That okay. is a really that's a great breakout, and I'm 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 ashamed not to have that right in front of me. Actually. That's okay. I'm just curious because I would think that to seniors it would be a lot more important if you're in a fixed income, your concerns about out of pocket costs, and if you're particularly young and you're not making a lot, maybe, and you're you're still trying to you know pay the rent and afford a car, and everything costs a million dollars now, uh, that's an issue as well. So, what are some solutions to capping these out of pocket costs? Yeah, well, right off the bat, uh, you know, 84% of adults across the U.S. agree that policymakers should focus on cracking down on abusive health insurance practices that make it harder to get the care we need. You know, at the end of the day, if people can't access or afford their medicines, nobody's winning here. And so uh, the, the focus really needs to be on access and affordability at the pharmacy counter or anywhere else where people are going to get their prescription meds. And it, it, basically, there, there's a ton of different solutions that uh, folks have identified as being favorable. And uh, across the board, uh, you know, one of the most popular ones is that uh, in order to lower prescription drugs is to require that health insurers and PBMs, those are pharmacy benefit managers who often work like the middlemen for insurers, want to make sure that they're passing along the rebates and discounts they already receive uh, to patients. And uh, across the board, that's 80, 80%. I mean, and part of that, too, I mean, 80%, you think, well, why not more, right? What, <laughs> doesn't everybody mm -hmm. want the rebates and discounts? Well, it's also there's a learning curve that's involved because not everybody's heard of a pharmacy benefit manager. So it's a complicated system, and it needs to be more of a common sense uh, method of working. Joe, Reed, we've often uh, hear about in discussions about Medicare Part D, which has to do with prescription medica medication, uh, whether or not the government should allow Medicare to negotiate with the pharmacy companies over drug prices. Well, your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, look, all of it sounds good, right? If you're, if you're the patient, why not? I mean, anything that can be done should be helpful, right? You want, you want to make sure that you're getting the best price, that you're getting the most savings in your pocket. If you're, if you're uh, elderly or not, if you're on a tight budget, uh, whatever the situation is, you should be getting the best price for your medicine. Now, as I said, you know, it, it doesn't matter. That, that's got to be the focus, right? But unfortunately, with things like the, the, what you're talking about, is the IRA that just passed. And unfortunately, 
that's got some other issues in it and it doesn't look at the entire system. Now, we're happy that Congress right now is looking at these pharmacy benefit managers. So they're looking at uh, insurers. They're ensuring that, the, you know, that they're looking at the entire system. Unfortunately, what's already in place right now doesn't do that. And so we kind of put the cart before the horse, if you will. So, look, right now we've got a system that's disincentivizing the development of generics and biosimilar medicines that can lower the price for patients and generate savings for the broader healthcare system. If you're, if you're gutting uh, those things, you're not helping patients at the end of the day. And so letting PBMs and health insurers off the hook fails to hold them accountable for making patients pay more than they do for medicines and, frankly, skim billions off of medicines in the healthcare system each year for, for a group that isn't actually making the medications. Reed, we have so about 45, we need, we have about yeah. 45 seconds left. Go ahead and wrap it up. So, Are you there? Look, when we're, look, when we're looking at uh, what, what can help folks, I really hope that folks will go to pharma.org. That's P-H-R-M-A dot org slash states. It's a great place to find uh, more highlighted state resources, data insights. It'll help, help folks and also good information on common sense solutions that will help people pay, pay less at the pharmacy counter. Reed, thank you so much for your time this morning. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Reed Porter, Senior Director for uh, Pharma and uh, State uh, Public Affairs at Pharma.